So here we go again with Star Wars and Lord of the Rings. Boy, do I have a lot to say on this, but look who it's coming from. J or J. Look at me going illiterate already with stupidity. Oh, it's a hype in the air, baby. George R. R. Martin hates fans. We already fucking knew this, believe me. So apparently George R. R. Martin has said, I don't understand how people can come to hate something so much that they once loved. Bro, who the fuck asked you? First of all, right? Who asked you? Who are you in this? It's like, like you wrote Game of Thrones and it became a popular TV show. Right? But you're struggling to write the latest book, bro. You got no room to talk. You're only saying this because of the amount of shit that you're getting because you procrastinate. Well, let's have a listen to what he has to say. Uh, if you criticize Star Wars or Lord of the Rings, oh, ho, ho, I got a lot to say. So many of our beloved franchises and IPs have been completely they have. And totally destroyed. Fans are the ones that also often get the blame. If you don't yeah. like something, if you don't like a TV show, if you don't like a movie, well, you're a toxic fan. If you say, what? That's the thing with it, though. It's like, why are we? Why are people called toxic if they don't like something? Right? Let's step away from like what I've been uploading recently. Right? Let's step away from like the Kenobi stuff for five seconds. Yeah. If you hate something because like it's bad, that doesn't make you racist. That makes you like you're just critiquing it. But, like, if they refuse to fix it because of their stupid ideology bullshit, then whose fault is that? Is it the customer for consuming it, or the fucking belligerent morons who wrote it and produced it and stuck it out there? Perspective, people. Perspective. Hey, that you don't like that thing. Well, that's not okay. You're not allowed to voice your criticism. You'll be labeled an ist, a phobe. You'll be labeled toxic. Yep, everything. Something everything on the fucking phobic radar, you will be named. I'm surprised that movie phobic or TV show phobic or Kenobi phobic, for that matter, hasn't even surfaced. I'm planning on doing a whole separate video on Lord of the Rings. Believe me, I have a lot to say about that considering that I grew up when each movie came out and I've read some of the books. So believe me, I have a lot to talk about on that. But it's like, we're taking, we're taking shit from like George R. R. Martin. The same dude who tried to read the Lord of the Rings and got fucking so pressed because Tom Bombadil was in the damn thing and he's like oh that character that one character almost ruined it what the fuck how it's like you can't even read a book without critiquing it but let's talk about your own book shall we oh no wait we can't do that because then we're gonna get called toxic but don't worry we'll get to that in a second to that effect because the people who are destroying these franchises the people who have decided to put virtue signaling ahead of storytelling oh yeah they don't want to hear your complaints they just want you to accept it like a good little sheep and george R. they want you to accept it like a bantha that's exactly what this is that look george r. r martin he shouldn't even be involved in this he literally has nothing to do with this whatsoever and I don't understand why the Independent, or whoever it was, like, interviewed him. Because he has nothing to do with this whatsoever. He's about as relevant in this as the fucking Holiday Special is. Like, what do you have to do with Lord of the Rings or Star Wars? Or what do- I, I know you have a lot to do with Lord of the Rings, considering that half of that you fucking plagiarized. But we'll get to that f later. Well, that's just my opinion, honestly. It's not really a fact. But you, you get the idea. George R. R. Martin falls into that category. George R. R. Martin has taken the fans for granted. He's attacked his own fan base multiple times. And now in a recent interview, George... Have you seen him? He doesn't look like the rational type. He looks like the kind of person you wouldn't want to leave alone with your little sister. That's what he looks like. If you were to ask me what do I think a Discord admin and a Redditor mod looks like, there you go. George R. R. Martin has the gall to say that he doesn't understand why fans would grow to hate something that they love. Why fans would ever say a bad thing about something oh they my... claim to be. Okay, so this is a very simple fix. This didn't need to be an article. Because the fucking person conducting this interview is like, so I just don't understand why they hate it so much. George, you're a fucking idiot. Have a look at what it was and then look at it now and what it's turned into. Then you'll understand it. But no, he won't do that. George won't. Well, you see, I'm writing this new book and my new book is going to be good. Like, fuck off. A fan of. Oh, really, George? Maybe, as Critical Drinker so aptly points out, 
probably because that thing turned out to be a bit shit, George. <laughs> and that is the problem. We live in a day and age where Star Wars, Star Trek, Doctor Who, Game of Thrones, when you're talking about the TV series, and he, of course, has not even finished what he's Oh, started. yeah, of course he hasn't, because he's lazy. And he's probably waiting for the Rings of Power to come out so he can copy shit off that. While we're on the topic of Rings of Power, let's just go into that real quick. So, Rings of Power... It's designed to be made for everyone, except that you are perverting, like, Tolkien's fucking works. The works that he put so much hard work and effort into. You are taking it and destroying it. You, this is one of the things. With Star Wars, it's infuriating. But with, with Lord of the Rings, it is absolutely maddening on biblical levels. It's like, you can't change shit. With Lord of the Rings. That's how tight knit it is. If you change something it ruins everything. Like a female dwarf that doesn't have a beard. Like get the fuck out of here. You're talking about like fucking diversity and inclusion. And you won't even give a woman a beard. Like shut the fuck up. Really. I'm so glad that the season one cast got fired. And I'm so glad the second season has been delayed. Because this would have been so shit. And you can call me a fucking hater all you fucking want but i'm still gonna be here with these fine gentlemen talking about how shit this is it is gone shit and i'm gonna tell you all something that they are not ready to tell you or no i'm gonna tell you all something that you're not ready to hear these people don't give a fuck about fans anymore it's not about fans it's about a paycheck it's about money from the time and they use woke culture as an excuse to keep doing this shit. Woke culture has nothing to do with it. It's all about a money printing press for them. They have no reason to be doing this. It's not about the message. It's not about getting people behind something and making them rise up. It is about printing money. And unfortunately, these franchises have fell victim to it. Lord of the Rings, Halo. All these beloved things getting destroyed in front of our very eyes. And then the people that are responsible, they turn around and point the finger at the fans. This is absolutely insane, but it's pretty expected from George R.R. R. Martin. George R.R. R. Martin, I don't understand how people can come to hate so much something they once loved. Because George R.R. R. Martin is an idiot. It's like, look, at he, he pretty much, like, he can't write for shit. Some of his books are good, but when it comes to fucking finishing something, he's about as good as f at finishing shit as your fucking father was when it came to raising you. It's like, he can't finish anything. And then the fact that he's coming out here, he could be writing the book right now, by the way, uh, the latest book of the series. He could be doing that right now, but this is what he's doing instead. If we are being objectively honest here, woke culture is like has has fucked everything up. I'm not gonna lie, but all these companies do this for is money, especially with Lord of the Rings. It's becoming quite blatant. They're just trying to push their own a narrative to how they want the world to be. If okay, perfect example. All right, Star Wars. If if anyone here has seen Star Wars uh, Resistance, that TV show thingy that fucking flopped. You will know what they're trying to push. And even that fucking bit in the book of Boba Fett, you could see what they're trying to push. Again, I'm not get against representation or anything like that. I'm not against that. But what, there's a way you have to do it. You have to make these characters realistic, sympathetic, and overall, they have to have character to bounce off of. But if they have none of that and they're constantly being put in situations where they always win, nobody is going to like that. Like... Take this character, for example, right? Take this character. If, uh, not Finn, sorry. If you look at Luke Skywalker, who went from literally nothing into something, this is the prime example of what it means to go on the hero's journey. Everyone has one eventually. But take that away, and it's like you have an overpowered character who just doesn't deserve it. And it's so bullshit. Every TV show or movie does this now. We've seen it with Batwoman. We've seen it with Halo. We've seen it with the soon-to-be Rings of Power. We've seen it with Star Wars. Like, it's just not going to stop. I can't show this full video because I'm just infuriated over this. Because in my own, like, personal opinion, it just feels like that they're just trying to make something like an issue when it's not an issue. And I don't understand it. I really don't. 
and like the fact that George R. R. Martin is even involved in this is absolutely laughable. Absolutely laughable. Like people, we need to focus on the real issues here, right? We need to stop giving these people attention. We need to stop giving George R. R. Martin attention. We need to just not watch this shit. We need to stop, like, cancel your Disney Plus if you have to. But, like, I don't think it's going to go well, all right? People have been telling me far and wide, just let this TV show play out. Let Kenobi play out. And it's like, just give it time. No, because as I said in my last video, we gave the tri new trilogy time and it got worse. We gave the Book of Boba Fett time and it got worse. We are not standing for this anymore. Just say something. Use your wallets. Don't use your voices. They'll just manipulate that. Use your wallets. Then you'll get their attention. But that is it for today, guys. I will see you probably later when I find 